On a very windy day, we're running a 45 ACP short barrel test with the Spear Gold Dot 230 grain jacked and hollow point. Advertised velocity from Spear of 890 feet per second. I previously tested this back in May of 2011 using the Colt 1911 government model 5 inch barrel series 80 and out of this 5 inch barrel my 5 shot average for that test was 864 feet per second. So in that test a little bit below the advertised but today we're going to focus on short barrel. This is the Springfield Armory XDS 3.3. Recently added this to my collection. I promised to post a review video on this separately from this ammo test. So how are we doing with the short barrel? A lot of folks are concerned about a what is already a low velocity bullet relative to other service calibers with the 45 and then dropping that big heavy bullet down out of a short barrel. So with the 3.3 inch barrel, there are my five shots measured from 10 feet and then the five shot average of 788 feet per second. So compared to the five inch barrel Colt, we're losing about 9% in velocity. We're going to tag a block of the SIM test. This is calibrated to be comparable to 10% ordnance gel. It is approximately 20 to 21 inches in length. The four layers of denim is an IWBA testing protocol. We'll be taking the shot from 10 feet. There's the point of entry. No pass through. Let's get in there and check it out. Let's take a quick look at both halves. Each is going to give us some insight with regard to the outcome. Expansion begins about one inch in and then you see a pretty good size permanent cavity. It's about uh, when you measure from this point and then you peel underneath. That's about an inch and a half wide and that's running from about the two inch mark out to the six, six and a half inch mark stopping in this area here. So that's not too bad. About an inch and a half wide. By the way this channel's a half inch deep and this is what we have on this first half of the track. This is the half where I found the bullet. We're going to get to that in just a second. So when I look at the permanent cavity here, which is not bad, but compared to the gold dot test with the 5 inch Colt barrel from 2011, there just really isn't as much intensity going on here. And that is with the consistency or calibration of the block being very, very close, very similar to each other. So we're moving on out with regard to the penetration. There's 9, 10, 11, and it's not going to go much further than that. The leading edge, and I'm measuring that to that point, is 11 and 3 quarter inches. You can see that we did have some expansion, but that is nowhere near the type of expansion that we had with the faster gold dot coming out of the Colt barrel in 2011. The pedals on that one were peeled back to about right there, if I recall, if not all the way to the base. So what we're seeing now is obviously the result of the lower velocity. There's one of the marks on the diameter, but the average is coming in a little bit higher at 0.646 inches. There was a plug of denim. You see that over there on the left inside of the hollow point cavity. Washed it up and retained weight still coming in a little bit high at 230.4 grains. Compared to the 2011 test with the 5 inch barrel Colt and the 230 grain Gold Dot, we had less expansion today and less penetration with the XDS 3.3. I don't think that's going to be a big surprise for folks. And as we get into other loads, manufacturers, bullet weights, bonded versus non-bonded, using the XDS 3.3, at least we're building some information so we can have a point of comparison. Thanks for watching.